July vlog 2017 now this vlog I wanted to give an update on the car situation so I've been talking about since February that uh, that my car leases up and it's time to make a decision so let me show you some of the cars that I went to go look at so I'll go and uh, cut that in now all right so my one uh, takeaway from well not my one but one of my takeaways from auto show was how much I kind of liked the look of the new Honda Civic hatch all right let's get in there and take a look oh I got all kinds of new stuff there's a brand new hatch right there Civic Turbo Sport Damn, that looks nice man. Civic Turbo Sport Touring it's a nice package this one's an automatic 32,285 all right I found one that was open just checking it out actually interior space is quite quite large there's a room in here a donut but there's lots of room under there lots of room over there oh it turns it goes this way that's kind of a neat that's a neat shade Ooh, the door is very light. The door is very, very light. No sunroof though. No roof on this one. So this is this is no options. All base. All base. Wow, really, really big center area. Really big uh, barrier here. Stuff seem pretty decent. You live close by, John? I don't actually. I live I live out in Ottawa, but this is my old hometown. I was just here for a little bit, and oh yeah, uh, I went to the auto show and I saw some of these new Civics, and I was like, all right, I need a closer look at some yeah. of these. So twenty twenty two nine. 85 is equipped. A lot cheaper than my GTI was, that's for sure. Bigger back seat, much bigger hatch. Actually, yeah, I noticed that on the, uh, there was a, that blue one is open. It gives you the radar and everything else, the main okay. departure. Yeah. You gotta go to the higher. There's a really wicked looking Ridgeline up over here, actually. All right, so we're going to see a new 2017 Ridgeline Sport right now. Get that's sport. right, yeah. Thank you. Power seat. Oh, weird. Oh, it's just a little arm wings. You just get little arm wing rests. Just leave that there and just put your foot on the brake and press the button. Okay, uh, start button here. Start button. Yeah, okay, just, mm -hmm. just move it forward a little bit. So it's running right now. Here. Yep. And it locks in. Nice. What's the price of this guy? 41, 41,315. And then the cool thing about the ridge lines is all of this. This yeah. cubby stuff. All this all the stuff I could hide down in the bottom of the box. Yeah, the door swings out both two different ways, right? Just one way. Just swings out that oh, it, way. Oh, it only does that? It does that, but it also flips down, which I'll show you in a minute. Oh, yeah, that's what, yeah. You so can. I just wanted to show you the trunk here. Yep. Yeah. Which is really, really good. And then with this down here, you can actually put a 4x8 sheet in flat. Okay. You no, know, now the, the door. It's not an 8-foot box, though. Not a 4x8 sheet. No, no. No. I like that. Or if you want to. Yeah, down or like then this, can you do a traditional tailgate. There you go, yeah. Does it have any dampening, or is it just. No. 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 This actually holds 350 pounds of the part right here. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, no, where's the other? Sense right here, release right here. Yeah. Put your hand right there. Oh, it's underneath. Okay. Here's a 2017 Honda CRV. They're all the same motor. I think this one's like top spec. You get a turbo in this, can you? They're all turbos. Oh, they're all, all turbo your now. CRV, they're turbos. They show, they're all turbos. Okay. You know what the leader of the motor? Yeah. A, what is it? How many, what's the size of the motor in oh, this? 2.4. 2.4 turbo. 2.4. See the infotainment and stuff in this. It's got electronic parking brake. Brake. There's the menu system. So, so you start thinking of last year. No, this is the turbo is 1.5 on these ones here. 2.4 the ones last what? year without the turbo. Okay. And they just re they just redid these as well, right? Every, almost everything got a total redo in 17. So it's a, again a small sunroof. So all the Hondas have a fairly small sunroof, but. What's that? Oh, for for back for yeah, for yeah. watching your kids. All right, so I'm at a uh, I'm at the Nissan dealership, and I was just going to take a look at this 2016 2016 Nissan Murano. Take a look under it. So I was looking underneath the Rogue, and I didn't really like how the welds and stuff are done. So it's like the pinches and stuff. And you know, like one one winter, right? This is a 2016. And she's still all rusty. All right, so you just opened it up for me. Panorama. Oh, and it's all one piece, like the uh, or the. I guess it's the same type of cover. Yeah. As the Rogue. That's right. All right here we go. This is yours. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Spring. Yeah, oh, it's got the hydraulic assist. They're ha projection halogens yes. or are they Xeons? I will check that for you. On a vehicle, yeah, it's hard to know on a vehicle like yeah. this. This is the new Jeep Compass, the tw new 2017 Jeep Compass. 4x4 North Edition. Kind of like a fab fabric insert on vinyl. Okay. Nice little vehicle. This one probably has the backup camera if you press, get the brake on. Yep. Yeah. I think they're all, isn't everything like 15 and newer mandated to have a re rear camera? Nope. Still no. haven't passed that through. Okay. It's US? It's a US thing? Yeah. So it starts at 24.9, and then this one with the North package gets you up to 34.6. Okay, so this is a Jeep Renegade 4x4 Laredo, I believe? Limited. So is this a demo? Yeah. Or is it brand new? No, it's not brand new. This one has 5,200. So it's last year's just new old It's stock, a 2016. Right? Yeah, 2016. Well, uh, the owner's wife was driving it. Yeah, see this one can be removed oh, yeah. or opened. Okay. Uh, again, nine speed transmission in this. Yep. Backup camera. Oops. Full, full, pretty well the same as the other one. Yeah, and still a fair still a fair size I'll just pop the seat can down. you uh, I guess there's no glass right it's just it's just a full panel yeah it's like you go open it or okay yeah so just uh, in my travels just thought I'd quickly stop in here at a Ford dealership and take a look at some of the f-150s here kind of caught my eye the XTR 4x4 I don't know much about it I think it's an XLT $51,000. Good lord, trucks are expensive. Hmm.
At the end of the day, nothing gave me the emotional feeling that this GTI does. It's in excellent condition, so why not keep it? So I take it to my dealership, I'm signing the paperwork to buy it, and as part of a lease to purchase, you have to get a safety check done. So I take it in, I buy the car, I come out, I walk out, and I stop dead in my tracks. I'm like, hey, what's that? I don't know if you can see this well on camera, but they crushed in my rocker panel. They, they lifted it wrong. While I was in there signing the paperwork, they damaged my car. Five to six inches across, really, where it, where it caves in. You can probably see it better from this angle. Some angles it doesn't look bad, other angles it looks horrible. I don't know how they managed to do that. I guess the lift arm wasn't, didn't have the extender on it, so it like put enough pressure on that point where it crushed it in. It's supposed to be straight. Straight and flush. I'm pretty upset about the position of it because I live in Canada, right? So salt and dirt and everything, and that's everything where the, where the tire kicks dirt and debris up at your car. So it's a horrible spot to have a repair done. And I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't rust out after they fix it. Taking care of this car for three years, it's been perfect. It only has one little ding in it. And now it's got a crushed in rocker panel. I'm gonna go and try and have them fix this up now. And I'll probably get a rental and have to leave it with them for a couple days and we'll see what happens. All right, I'm back and I got my new car. <laughs> It's a Beetle. It's a Volkswagen New Beetle. It's definitely slower than my GTI, and it has a normal slush box transmission, but I mean, at least it's a Volkswagen, I guess. It's a base model, cloth seats, automatic transmission, no leather anywhere, like even the wheel is plastic hard. The gauge cluster sucks. The gauge cluster you don't get any information in. It's, all it shows you is coolant temp because there is no coolant gauge. It does have a touchscreen radio. You know, whatever. Basic Beetle. So this is my new whip for a week until my GTI gets repaired. Uses that same sort of rear view camera that my car does. And hatch is, hatch is pretty big. I'll be driving this around for a week until I, uh, until I get my car back. Thanks for watching.